I'm Zachary Fowler, and this is warm up for the next World Cup Slingshot Tournament with the first ever World Cup Slingshot. Trick Shot Tuesday. Slingshot. All right, all goofing aside, I missed the World Cup this year. Probably wasn't ready anyways. I got fifth, Nathan had first in the uh, East Coast Slingshot Tournament, and Nathan Masters, the designer and owner of Simple Shot, he got ninth place in the World Cup. He was fifth at one point, and his slingshot that he got it with is one that we sell on the website, the Axiom Ocularis. And this one is digitally rendered and, uh, and then made exactly after his slingshot. He's been rocking for two years, his favorite slingshot. A lot of folks refer to this as my precious. And it is, it's my precious. I love this slingshot. Been, I love this one, but the actual winner of the World Cup was a gentleman named Li Yu Changling, a Chinese gentleman. Here's a picture here with the proper spelling, and he shot a Fei Yu fork that he hand carved himself. 20 hours of work to make that, and we sell that on the website as well, now made by GZK with G10, and I've been shooting it for the last week. The same pink that he used with a different cut because the Chinese gentleman that won, he shoots like quarter inch steel back to his shoulder I shoot almost a full butterfly and so I cut mine to that and I got this awesome GZK pouch here it has these little guides on the pouch so you can put the ammo and it chocks it in perfectly in the center locking it in place so that you get a really really accurate pouch pinch with your ammo so I've been playing around with this all week this is a great little slingshot and these pouches add to the accuracy they're fun I practice every day like three times a day I have these three targets set up and I take a step back and I shoot one, and then take a step back, shoot the next one, take a step back and shoot the next one. Um, for the Spanish knockdowns that they used in the World Cup, they had uh, several different sizes. I'm gonna make some today. I've ordered some stuff on Amazon. We're gonna make some and shoot some of those. The target range that they used in the World Cup, you can see here, had some pretty solid pieces to it. There's a lot that mistakes or uh, ricochets off of parts of that could cause to go all around my house and break other things. So I came up with a magnetic spinner knockdowny type things. I took and got some leather here, and this was my first test model for it, where I cut it, sandwiched a piece of leather, glued it together, and there's a neodymium magnet that I got on Amazon here, and this has a tab with another neodymium magnet. You stick it right to it and you hit it and boom, knocks it off of there. So I got some heavier felts and we're gonna see if we can't make some. Let's head out to the shop and do that now. Mm -hmm. 
some coasters that are heavy duty felt that I can cut into the targets, like on your couch so that it doesn't scratch up your floor. Neodymium magnets and some bolts to put the whole thing together with. So at the East Coast Slingshot Tournament, the Spanish knockdowns were seven targets of changing sizes on two different levels. They looked like this. For the World Cup, though, they moved over to five targets that look like that. Let's build. It should be awesome. Let's try it out. That one didn't fare so well. It's got a little crack in it, but the felt is still in mint condition. I am very happy. I think my design is a good one. It may need some better materials as time goes on. I'll see how long I can get out of those. And I'm gonna set up the second thing tomorrow morning, which will be, and it's tomorrow. And I got the seven Spanish Knocktown target set up done. I got the two strings, the two sets, and it's all at regulation height right here. Minus the fact that normally these would be down here because they're set on a pole or a bar and they get hit down, whereas mine are hanging. So they're a little out of whack, but that's okay. There's the 10 right off the bat. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Because the lines are right over top of each other, it bounced and hit the lower line. I think that I need to set the lines a little bit separated. Hmm. Seems like these outer ones are so big and heavy. I'm gonna have to add two magnets to the strips. And then I hit the line and knock them all down. Nice, it worked. Swing and a miss on the changeup. Pop until it died. So they make the move and look at Ethier. Ah! Oh. So it's been like a month since I started this project to try to make the Spanish knockdowns. I wanted the magnetic ones you saw me build, and I just I couldn't get it to happen. In the end, I built this wooden frame, little angle on the front here, and magnet strips on the back. The targets are no longer the felt that I started out with. They're conveyor belt rubber with tabs that come off the bottom of these and they can go on the magnet strips. I found this to be far more solid than the L bracket kind when you hit the frame. They don't all fall down and I even have a second strip down here so I don't become too stagnant in my shooting. I can mix it up whenever I want, put them down here, put a couple here and it's so light I could just tote this thing right outdoors to my outdoor shooting range shoot out there on a nice day, bring it back inside, good to go. But uh, for now, let's see how it works in here. Clean 
sweet. Now it's time to shoot some paper, because that's the other part of it. First you shoot those, or vice versa, but uh, it's every day it's some paper and the Spanish knockdowns. And I haven't shot paper in a long time. This could be really embarrassing. Nice. This will be interesting. There's a thing about paper and or the bigger knockdown target. So the small knockdown target, it's easier to have a small focus. Just like I say in my how to shoot a slingshot lesson. Check out the how to shoot a slingshot playlist here on YouTube for more videos in this series that'll help you get going with your slingshot shooting. And for even more information on how to shoot a slingshot, you can find it on FowlersMakeryAndMischief.com on our how to shoot a slingshot page. It's very easy to miss something like a soda can multiple times when you're aiming at the whole object. You need a narrow focus. Aim at a specific point, like the letter E. When I aim at a target, I mentally zoom in like a camera zoom on the exact center of the target where the atom resides that I intend to split with that shot. So, if I could focus my mind mentally in on the center of the target and not get carried away with letting my mind drift around the outside of the target as a whole, I'll be more accurate in being put a tighter grouping in there. Not too bad, not too bad for the first paper I've shot and I don't even know how long. Started out here on the right hand side with a big old right on the edge here. And then it was everything, beautiful grouping of four tight shots there. And then I felt it like, oh, I'm feeling good about this. And I'm at the next one, boom, hit good there. And then I started to get further off and then I felt my mind wander. And sure enough, I hit further up, brought it back in, I think for the second to last shot and then one bigger further out there so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that that's a, a little bit of inconsistency with these guys here that's that's a little disappointing and I think I feel like that's the uh, difference between this thing and I felt like my mind wasn't as focused as it could have been when you feel the focus I feel it right when I release the shot I actually know that it's gonna hit as it slips free of my back finger dead on or or I'm like that's a complete mess I feel like too bad I'm pretty happy with that for the first time I've shot paper and I don't even know how long. I'm always aiming at small stuff, trying to light a match, or trying to shoot the head off a ceramic clown, or something like that, or shoot a, a card. And uh, that's, it feels like a completely different thing to me mentally, and I could feel it in the inconsistency as my mind wandered and didn't focus on that exact point in the center. So I think I could bring it in, tighten up those groups in the consistency, but I got a lot of practice to do if I'm gonna give Nathan Masters and the winners of this year's World Cup a run for their money. I'm gonna keep at it. You should too. Get yourself a slingshot. Get out there and have fun. Check out the unlisted video link below for this electronic catch box. It may be the official catch box of the next World Cup slingshot tournament. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Fowler out. Subscribe by hitting the link in the top right and hit the link in the top left for FowlersMakeryMischief.com where you can get your slingshots, survival gear, replacement bands, a little bit of everything you see me playing with in the videos. And if you're looking for a slingshot we don't carry, you can probably find it on SimpleShot.com. Check them out, link below and in the description.